Hello everyone, my name is Irina, I'm the face behind the blog Lipstick.cafe and in today's video I want to talk about how to do your makeup while taking isotretinoin, a drug for severe acne commonly known as actin or roactin. In this video I will refer to it as roactin. As you may well be aware, this drug can cause severe side effects such as really dry skin and lips and eyes as well. This can make applying your makeup really difficult. Now I'm filming this video at the end of my treatment. I only have I think three days left which is really scary. I've been taking it for nine months so I've really had a lot of time to play with a lot of makeup and products and see which ones work the best. I will start by saying that you need to pay extra attention to your skincare. If you don't do that, no makeup in the world will look good on your skin. And why I'm saying this is because your skin will be shedding a lot, it will be red, irritated and extremely dry. And if you don't moisturise well the day before, if you don't take care of your lips and apply lip masks and a lot of lip balm, no matter what base you'll use, it's not going to be enough. Now, I'll start by saying that I don't use um, makeup primers because I find that even the hydrating ones um, have a bit of active ingredients in them. Especially the hydrating ones actually contain lactic acid, glycolic acid and all sort of um, exfoliating ingredients because it is believed that this exfoliation cause, causes luminosity of the skin and makes your skin more, more hydrated in the long run. However, one thing that you need to be very careful while taking Rakuten is the active ingredients in your makeup products and face products because they can cause further irritation of the skin and it might not end up very well. Even if they were hydrating primers, they would dry out my skin rather than hydrate it further. So I tried a lot of hydrating primers just on one side of my face and applied my makeup, wore it throughout the entire day and then I'd get home and check which side looks looked better. And to be really honest with you, it was usually the side without a primer that looked more hydrated than the other one. So I have already done my base for my makeup. I applied my skincare and my sunscreen, which leaves quite a greasy uh, finish on my skin. So if you think that I'm not that dry, um, don't be fooled. My skin is extremely dry at the moment. My lips are really dry. It's just my sunscreen and my skincare is really good, which is why my skin might look better on the camera. So I, I've done my base. I have my sunscreen on. And the first thing I'm gonna do is apply foundation. And I think I found the best foundation while taking Rakuten in the entire world. And that is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum uh, Gel Foundation. Now this has quite a strong fragrance. However, I absolutely love this. It has an amazing finish. Uh, it's quite shiny, but don't be scared of that because whatever looks really shiny on your skin will be quickly absorbed in. Throughout the hours, your skin will just like absorb any moisture you put on it. So don't be afraid for uh, foundations with shiny finishes like this one. A really nice tip for you is to use a damp sponge to apply pretty much your entire makeup routine. And the reason for that is that brushes will pull your pull on your skin. No matter how soft they are, your skin during rotten will exfoliate so easily, even if you gently rub it. And that's why I would recommend to tap very gently with a wet sponge and avoid using brushes. And this is a fantastic tip for you actually, trust me. So I use this foundation and I put a pump if I want lighter coverage and I usually put two if I want more of a coverage. This is light towards medium uh, coverage but I think it's just everything you need while taking this treatment because your skin will clear out from acne and all you have left is gonna be scars and redness just like I have. So I will just quickly apply this on my entire face and I'll just do a bit of a demo for you so you can get an idea about what I mean by being very gently while applying your foundation. I just, I'm just gonna look that way because that's where my mirror is. Although I must admit I can't see very much because I had to take off my glasses um, to film this and um, we'll see how it goes. So I just 
concentrate on the center of my face because that's where most of my redness is and I just very gently pat this onto my skin avoiding rubbing altogether and I'm just gonna do this until it's perfectly blended onto my skin I will use you one, one more pump to show you how it looks that is my foundation done as you can tell it has a bit of a shiny finish which is overemphasized by my sunscreen as well i really like it now a very good tip for you is if your skin is extremely dry especially during the winter period while taking rakuten uh, you can mix a very tiny drop of oil within your foundation and just apply it like that on your face um, i use the ordinary 100 percent plant derived squalane I hope I said that right. And while you're not technically meant to mix oil with a water-based foundation like the Bourjois one is, it worked perfectly fine for me as long as you don't use a lot of oil and it will definitely help your foundation to be more moisturizing on your skin and avoid that really, really dry skin that you can get during Roaktin. So that's a really nice tip for you. Do not overuse it, to be honest. Um, very tiny bit of oil will do and just try and see what it's like. I think this can save you from those days when your skin is extremely irritated during this medicine and it's just peeling off and nothing really stays on it. This will save your life. I was a bit over, over dramatic. Now I will apply my concealer and the concealer I have to recommend for you, um, it looks a bit disgusting so sorry for that, is the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser um, on dry concealer and to be honest with you I use this on my face as well because it's extremely moisturizing and it has the perfect undertone for my skin uh, which is really yellow based. If you are not sure how to choose the foundation, what your skin tone is, how to deal with the undertones then please head to lipstick.cafe and read my articles uh, about this. I think they're really helpful so I will just apply this with the sponge. If you think this is extremely unhygienic, you can take the sponge tip applicator off and just use the just use it without it. I I honestly just use it like this. Remember, gently tap it on your face. Do not rub. Do not blend anything by rubbing and pulling just tapping motions. Now I used enough in my opinion, I don't think I need more especially because it's during the day and with the same damp sponge I will very gently tap, tap on it and blend it. I usually stop this type of coverage during the day even though I am aware you can still see a bit of scars and redness uh, through the makeup but I don't really mind. This is another tip that I have for you. Unless you have a special event, just keep the, the coverage light and enjoy your makeup as light as possible. As few products as you can use, do not overdo it and just keep in mind that your skin is extremely sensitive while taking Rakuten and every product that you put an addition on your face is might cause a reaction. My next tip for you is to use cream products as much as you can. Avoid solid um, concealers, stick with the cream ones and, and avoid powder bronzers and powdered blush. Just use cream ones, trust me they will make a world's difference. I discovered this a few months into my treatment. For contour, I use the Benefit Hula Quickie Contour Stick and to be honest this is not 100% my recommendation for you, I just got this in the magazine and it's the only cream contour stick I have but do keep in mind to, to choose a cream contour stick and a cream bronzer. This one is really soft and easy to blend so I do recommend it but I'm not saying that you do have to spend a lot of money on the benefit um, one. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time showing you how to contour. Um, you basically look straight in the mirror and you find the places on your face that you want to add some shadow and definition. I will blend it with the same sponge. 
Right, so this is my contour blended. I think it looks gorgeous just like this. I will not add more. I'm not sure how well it shows on the camera. Um, next step is cream blush. And I'm using the Ilamasca cream blusher in the colour Rude. And I love this one. I'm, I'm aware it's quite pricey. Again, I'm not saying you need to get the Ilamasca one. Just make sure you've got a cream blush. I won mine at the beauty event, so which is why I have such a such a pricey cream blush to be honest. I think cheaper clean blushes um, can look just as gorgeous. Uh, I'm sorry if this looks odd. Um, for the first time ever, <laughs> uh, it's quite warm here in Scotland, and it appears that this had quite a bit of condensation on it. So again, using my damp sponge, um, I'm going to apply the cream blush on my face. Just keep in mind that if you use uh, a big sponge like this, there is a danger that you will just drag the blush around your face too much. Uh, remember, pat motions, do not drag it. However, if the sponge is quite big, you might end up pulling the um, uh, blush around your cheek a bit too much. So just be, just be mindful of that. Now, next thing is highlighter. And I would recommend a cream highlighter as well. However, I have a powder one that I really love and I just chose to continue to use that one because it looks quite good. I'm using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfected Pressed. Um, now this is absolutely gorgeous and I love it so so much. And this is the only product that I'm applying with a brush and I'm just using a Real Techniques brush. Um, this one is a contour brush. Just gently tap it in. And I'm quite generous with highlighter because I feel if you've got really dry skin you want to bring in some more light in, into your skin and make you look more radiant. Okie dokie, so this is my face done. And surprisingly I do not use powders at all. Um, I do not use setting powders. I know this is going to be a bit controversial, I know you might deal with a bit of creasing under your eyes but trust me you do not want to add any powder on your face other than maybe your highlighter because the powder is going to absorb even the very little moisture your skin has. I try to use setting powders for a while during the treatment but I've, I've discovered that my makeup looks much much better without setting powders. And another thing, I do not use setting sprays either. Uh, one reason being that most of them contain alcohol and you really do not want to put alcohol on your skin while taking Rakuten because you will get really irritated and itchy. If you find a setting spray that does not contain alcohol, perfume or active ingredients such as niacinamide, because many setting sprays, especially hydrating ones, contain niacinamide, um, then you know by all means use it if you enjoy it. Uh, this is just a guide for you. Um, I think some of these products work fantastically well, but my advice would be skip face primers, setting powders and setting sprays, which might... It, it, it will take you a while to get used to a routine like this, but trust me, it will work. So my last product that I will recommend for you is going to be something quite fun. And I know most of you are, you know, have read so many articles and seen so many videos that it's impossible to wear coloured lipsticks and things while taking rockets and because your lips are so dry, blah, blah, blah. Um, well, I want to go against that very, very much because I think not wearing any lip colour is quite boring. And I know how to wear really, really bright colours while taking Rakuten. You will have to sort of skip over using the traditional lipsticks and just use coloured lip gloss. I know this sounds like it's very easy to do that, but not everyone thinks of this. So you can get really brightly coloured. Um, lip, lip glosses which you will be 100% able to wear while taking Rakuten if they're hydrating enough. I think I found some fantastic ones and I really love this one so much even though they're a bit more pricey and these are the Laura Mercier lip glaze in colours Black Cherry and Wildflower. Now I did get these during the um, Christmas seasons, um, I think more than a year ago. I'm pretty sure they still have lip glosses. 
and I love this formula because it's very very moisturizing it smells delicious it's long wearing it's really hydrating on the lips really really hydrating it doesn't have that plasticky feeling that just stays on the top of your lips it doesn't really get through um, these are actually hydrating I will put I will put both on to prove that you can wear colors on your lips while taking Rakuten So this is the wildflower um, shade put on my lips. It's absolutely fantastic. It's really moisturizing and it's I think it's absolutely brilliant. Now I will add on top uh, black cherry, which is even darker and even more um, of a deeper color. I'll just put this in the middle of my lips. I'm not sure how bright the colours is showing on the camera because colours can be really washed out when filming. However, this is really bright colours. They're absolutely delicious. I love them so much. So please look into this uh, lip, lip glasses from Laura Mercier. Otherwise, just try and find a really hydrating lip gloss from the drugstore. Um, I'm obviously wearing um, lip balm under them as well, but I think they're definitely wearable while taking Rakuten. So just as a recap, skincare is extremely important. Be very careful of active ingredients and alcohol and primers if you do want to use them. Sunscreen under makeup 100% every day. Uh, use as many cream products as you can. Avoid powders, avoid setting powders and setting sprays, especially if they contain alcohol, perfume and active ingredients. And that is a general rule of any products that you're using while taking raw kitten. Because sometimes we are not so careful about active ingredients while we're not taking this medication, but they can further irritate our skin and please be careful with that. If you want to know more about my skin history, why I decided to take Rakuten, how my journey has been so far, what are the best tips that I have to give you to minimize side effects because I did have a very successful treatment, then please head to lipstick.cafe and read my articles about it. You can use the search bar and type in Rakuten, Akuten or Isotretinoin and all articles about this topic will just uh, pop up. Please leave a comment, ask questions if you feel like um, you have anything to ask me, like the video and share and please please subscribe. Again, I hope this was really helpful and I wish you an absolutely lovely, lovely day. See you soon.